I've been talking about motion clarity based on the Blur Busters law and how we need 1000 Hz and more to get great motion clarity. Some of you have commented, man, you're just dreaming. There's no way we can get 1000 FPS on our games. Okay, not gonna happen. <laughs> not in a million years. Well, I'm going to share with you a game that you can download right now and see it for yourself. Regardless of the refresh rate of your display, this game at any FPS is going to look and feel like the maximum refresh rate of your display. After you see this, you're going to scratch your head and wonder why don't we have this right now? We need this, <laughs> especially for console gaming. This can make 30 FPS look like 120. So if you're playing a console with, a, with an OLED, for example, you can get that fluidity, that responsiveness. It's absolutely amazing. And this was created by Comrade a stinger a youtube channel called comrade stinger and it is called asynchronous reprojection it is a technology that is mature already it is used on vr headsets okay so let's take a look at it i'm gonna open the game here and just show you what it is but this is really something that you have to test for yourself so what i'm doing right now on this game is I am playing at 60 FPS, 60 Hertz, because that's the recording I can upload to YouTube. But this is really going to shine when you go 120 and more. But at 60 FPS right now, I am rendering the game at 60 FPS. So this is how 60 FPS looks like, okay? So now I am going to apply the technique, okay? See if you can spot the difference. And I'm going to go back and forth. So right now, this is using the magic, the asynchronous reprojection magic. And now I'm going to change to real 60 FPS. So from real 60 FPS to the magic, okay? This is magic right now. This is real 60 FPS. Can you spot the difference? <laughs> Especially, it is absolutely incredible how it feels. It feels like the real thing. <laughs> so you change to this asynchronous reprojection and it is so responsive. This is shockingly good. At 60, imagine going from 30 to 120 feels, trust me, <laughs> you're really going to be impressed with this. So we can definitely see the problems, okay? We can see surrounding the character, there are occlusion artifacts and we will understand why if we freeze the rendering. So we have here some options. We have the option to freeze the rendering of new frames. So when we freeze the rendering, we actually just have a picture. This, that's all we have. That's all the information we have, but it doesn't matter. We're still going to have the same responsiveness. So right now what you're looking at is a picture and the picture is moving and it is not able to show us what was not on the screen to begin with. So if I go to the original, you know, a little bit closer to where I was when I took the picture, you see that, the, you know, we don't know what's behind the character because the character is occluding that red and that blue uh, square in the back. But it doesn't matter. We can still show you, you know, we can still see where the character is when we move. So. This is absolutely amazing because if, if we can actually render some frames, we get rid of that uh, problem, the more frames we get. So if we do this, boom, we already get rid of the problem. So this is 30 FPS. Okay, let's, let me show you how 30 FPS looks like. <laughs> this is terrible. So this is rendering the game at 30 FPS. Look at that. This is absolutely horrendous. Now let's go back to the magic. <laughs> so imagine if you have a console, you're going from this, I mean, you're going from this 30 FPS, which is absolute crap, unplayable in my opinion. Look at that. Absolutely horrendous. So you're going from that to this. <laughs> Just a minor occlusion artifact. Uh, it's not a big deal, man. But here's the thing. 
if you can get 60 on the game or more you can get 120 real frames you can use this technique and go from 100 to 100 and, or 120 go to up to the maximum refresh rate of your display so if we get for example that asus 540 hertz gaming monitor <laughs> we get like 100 120 real fps and we use this and there's no way you're gonna i mean you're not gonna see any occlusion artifacts you're not going to see any input lag nothing it would be absolutely perfect <laughs> so this is unbelievable and it, it is self-explanatory you will see what's going on you just freeze just hit the two you freeze the rendering and you see okay yeah i cannot see what's what was behind the character but if it if it's possible if we have the information the information is being updated so we can actually you know keep the same input lag and we will get rid of that artifact the more frames we have that's it as simple as that <laughs> So yeah, may definitely give it a try and and you you will be really like impressed. Like this is absolutely unbelievable stuff. And I wish uh we, we get this as soon as possible. I mean I know we're going to get it, but I don't know. I'm not sure if there is a <laughs> I don't wanna be like, you know, talk about a conspiracy theory or anything like that, but I don't know if this would be convenient <laughs> for NVIDIA. Because, for example, if Unreal Engine 5 integrates this asynchronous reprojection to all the games, and we just have a toggle on the game that we can use and get this result, I would never, I mean, I'm not going to upgrade my GPU like in 5, 6 years. I don't need to. <laughs> I can get 60 FPS or maybe 50 or, and, and then just get 120 using this technique on my display. That's it. I don't need anything else. So right now, NVIDIA is doing uh, interpolation, motion interpolation. So it's, it's creating frames. So they are creating one frame so in between uh, because the, you know that's all we need right now because the displays we have are not very high. But they can create two frames instead of one. So we can already go from 100 to 200 to 400. It's very easy, you just need to double, quadruple the amount of fake frames. But we can use this asynchronous reprojection in combination with DLSS to get the best results. So we need NVIDIA and AMD to come on board with asynchronous reprojection and see if there's a way to combine DLSS 3 frame generation or the AMD equivalent which is going to be released this year hopefully soon and it is going to be available for all gpus and not locked to the 40 series which is very good so we definitely need to find what is the best balance between that ai upscaling and frame generation stuff and this asynchronous reprojection because the goal is that you don't see any artifacts the goal is to find that right combination so we don't see any artifacts and the higher the refresh rate of your display the better this is going to get so yes it is already here and it is just a matter of time it is going to happen they just need to figure it out how they are going to charge you for it that's it <laughs> that's why we don't have it right now because it would be free performance it would be mind-blowing performance for nothing and they need to figure out a way to lock that to the you know the Nvidia 5000 series or yeah something. If well, after they figured out how to charge you for it, then you will have it. <laughs> this is too good to be free. That's the thing. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I might do a video you know going in depth uh, about what this is. But I just wanted to show you and share this with you after you test it for yourself. You will understand it. It is so obvious. Would you just stop and freeze this and you see what happens? You see, okay, there was nothing behind me. That's why this, <laughs> this cannot you know, guess what was behind me. But it is still updating in real time. So it is incredible. We also have some 
uh, features here turn on to prevent some artifacts in the corner a stretch time warp borders because if we don't use this feature uh, we see that there is uh, let me let me untick these two features here we see that if we use this uh, technique without using this a stretch time warp or uh, time warp borders we see that on the corners of the screen it, it looks like you know this this black thing and the problem is we don't have information about what we don't have on the screen basically but that that situation that this artifact can easily be remedied by stretching this time warp borders basically Boom. just click here and then that is fixed we don't see that issue anymore so this is fantastic <laughs> so let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions